Okay, Newark Valley and Grace Christian, come on up. 9.59, we're about to go on the air. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome to the stage of the Sayre. Welcome to the finals for the 44th annual Scholarship Challenge. My name is Dave Radigan. I will be your host today alongside my wife, Irene Radigan, running fashionably late as always. She'll be here any moment. Scholarship Challenge is brought to you by many sponsors, but our title sponsor is FCCB and our presenting sponsor, Williams Toyota of Sayre. Congratulations to the students here today on winning your qualifier and earning the right to represent your school and community on today's live broadcast at the Sayre Theater. Our contestants today include six-time winners, Tawanda, winners in 1984, 1988, 1991, 1998, 2022, and 2023. One-time winner, Grace Christian Academy in 2014, formerly North Rome Christian School, Northeast Bradford, and Newark Valley. These young adults have worked very hard all school year long to earn a seat here at Scholarship Challenge Finals today. And we are so incredibly proud of each and every one of them. Only one of this morning's four teams will win this beautiful Kwasnowski Cup and the first place prize of $3,000 for their school. Since 1981, Scholarship Challenge has awarded $244,775 in prize money from our patrons, sponsors, and radio stations. We'll add $6,500 to that total this year. The top eight teams will earn cash prizes. The fifth through eighth place teams won $250 each. Third and fourth places, uh, which will be determined today, will win $500 each. Second place team will win $1,500. And again, the first place prize is $3,000. At least 90 questions are coming your way today on the multiple award-winning scholarship challenge, Radigan Media's signature community service broadcast. Today's broadcast is being heard on all of our stations, from WEBO in Owego in Binghamton to Choice 102, our flagship station of Scholarship Challenge, Liberty 960, 953 The Bridge, 94 Rock in Elmira and Corning, along with 99.5 WOKN and our nine repeater signals and five AM stations as well. In total, Scholarship Challenge is now heard on 17 radio signals in the Twin Deers, and it's also being streamed today on the Choice 102 Facebook page and on Smart TVs and YouTube, search for Scholarship Challenge. Very excited to tell you that we now have an app for our company. It's called My Hometown Today. And by downloading this free app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, you can take this broadcast with you wherever you go today and listen to it on your cell phone. All of our radio stations are, radio stations are streamed there. And our news and sports director, Pat McDonald, who's in the auditorium with us today, will be sending out push notification updates on Scholarship Challenge throughout the broadcast here this morning. Again, the app is called My hometown today my hometown today and you can download it in your app store on your phone and we would be ever so thankful if you went and did that now it's our pleasure to be back behind the there she is hi good morning <laughs> you're here i got you iced tea though oh thank you uh irene is here it's our pleasure to be back behind the scholarship challenge podium to present questions to some of the best and brightest high schoolers from eight or eight counties on both sides of the border in this annual battle for that beautiful kwasnowski cup let's meet our first two teams on the longest running radio show in both new york and pa the broadcast that celebrates the power of thought and the magic of the mind first two teams up on stage with us today are newark valley and grace christian academy Let's begin, uh, I guess, in alphabetical order by uh, going to my left, starting with Newark Valley Cardinal team captain Fiona McMurray. Good morning. 
Good morning. My name is Fiona McMurray and I am a senior at Newark Valley High School. I am a member of National Honor Society and Student Council and I am the president of the Varsity Club as well as a member of the German Club and the Valley Maskers Drama Club and I am going to attend college in the fall to study linguistics. Very good. Thank you Fiona McMurray. Also to our left, Danny Perger. Hello, I'm Daniel Perger. I am a senior from Newark Valley High School. I am the captain of our varsity basketball team, and next year I will attend college to study neuroscience. Thank you, Danny. And to our left is Bryce Dunn. Uh, hello, my name is Bryce Dunn. I'm a senior at Newark Valley High School. Uh, after high school, I plan to go to become a history teacher. Very good. Thank you, Bryce. And to our far left is Justin Jacobson. Hello, my name is Justin Jacobson. I also plan to attend college, become a history teacher and I'm a senior at Newark Valley High School. Very good, thank you, Justin. Advisor for Newark Valley Cardinals is Brittany Doherty, uh, and uh, school principal is Ed Mertzen. Superintendent is Timothy Callis. Newark Valley are the Cardinals. School colors are black, red, and white. Quick round of applause for the Newark Valley Cardinals. To our right on stage, Grace Christian Academy Eagles are here, uh, led by team captain Colby Johnston. Good morning, Colby. Hello, I'm Colby Johnston. I'm a sophomore at Grace Christian Academy. I'm a member of student council and the yearbook committee, and I play basketball, and I plan on going to the Northern, Ter Northern Tier Career Center for automotive mechanics next year. Very good. Thank you, Colby. To our right is Alan Van Ostrand. Thank you, Dave. Um, I, my name is Alan Van Ostrand. I am a senior at Grace Christian Academy. I am part of our yearbook committee and our GCA Honor Society, and I have taken some early college classes through Houghton University. Very good. Thank you, Alan. And Mason Kellogg. Hi. Um, my name is Mason Kellogg. I'm a freshman at uh, Grace Christian Academy, and uh, later I uh, plan to pursue uh, aerospace engineering in college. Very good. Thank you, Mason. And to our far stage right this morning is Genevieve Andrus. Hang on. Is that working, guys? Give it a tap, just a little tap. There we go. Okay. My name is Genevieve Andrus. I am a sophomore at Grace Christian Academy. I am part of the student council and basketball team, and I plan on attending Northern Tier Career Center for Auto Mechanics next year. Excellent. Thank you, Genevieve. The Grace Christian Academy Eagles are also joined by team alternates Jacob Gorslein and Caleb Van Ostrand. Team advisor Chris Gorslein and Chantel Fulmer. Uh, administrator for Grace Christian Academy is Scott Webster. School colors are red and black. A round of applause, please, for the Grace Christian Academy Eagles. With our uh, introduction of students underway, we uh, also want to recognize uh, some uh, individuals here in the theater. State Representative Tina Pickett joins us today. Northeast Superintendent Matt Holmes joins us uh, in the theater. Uh, Grace Christian Academy Administrator Scott Webster is here. And we also want to welcome the Kwasnowski Lucas family uh, here to the uh, Scholarship Challenge theater as well. Our judges today, Susan Searfoss and Barb Carl, back again today. They've been here all season long and we appreciate them very much. And our guest judge this morning is Cody Weibert, a former contestant here on Scholarship Challenge as well. Thank you all three of you for being our judges today. All right, uh, we are ready for our first match and our first round of the day. Are you guys ready for some questions? All right. Let's get into it. Question number one of the day. The pigment found in this vegetable is named for the vegetable itself. Bugs Bunny voice Mel Blanc was said to be allergic to it, but wasn't. Name this vegetable crunchy when raw, but soft when cooked. Bryce Dunn, Newark Valley. Carrot. Carrot is correct. Question number two, what U.S. state's town of Wall has a drugstore that became known far and wide after its owners began providing free ice water in the early 1900s? Its large cities include Sioux Falls and Rapid City. South Dakota. 
Question number three. In night, excuse me. Question number three. In 1897, what monarch celebrated 60 years on the British throne? Colby Johnston, Grace Christian Academy. Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria is correct. Good job. <laughs> Tied at 10 each. Question number four. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> what agreement, starting with C, lays out what knowledge an employee can take to his next job if he ever leaves the company? It's a confidentiality agreement. Question number five between Grace Christian Academy and Newark Valley. What set of works by J.S. Bach comprises 48 of his more than 200 works for keyboard and contains a prelude and fugue written in each possible key? The Well-Tempered Clavier. Question six, Christian singer Amy Grant is married to what country music legend? Vince Gill. Question number seven, after it lost power in 220 AD, China's government was replaced by a three kingdoms period. Identify this Chinese dynasty, Colby Johnson, Grace Christian Academy. Han. That is correct. All right, pencils and paper ready. Audience, buckle up for this one. F of X is X squared minus 3, while G of X is X plus 8. Evaluate the composite function of F of G of x at x equals 3. <laughs> Danny Perger, Newark Valley. 118. I was going to say Pittsburgh, but you are correct. <laughs> Very good. Question number nine. What monarch who reigned over England from 1509 to 1547 is part of the black, excuse me, of the backdrop of Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall trilogy, as well as the book called The Sixth Wolf, A Wife? Do you want me to give you that, is that one again? You want it again? I'll read it right this time, I promise. Okay, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll read it one more time. You don't have to ring in then either, but I'll, I feel bad about that one. All right, here we go. What monarch who reigned over England from 1509 to 1547 is part of the backdrop of Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall trilogy, as well as the book called The Sixth Wife? Well, at least I feel better reading it right this, the second time. The answer we're looking for is King Henry VIII. Question 10. In some variations of the story of Little Red Riding Hood, the big bad wolf eats grandma. In others, it does what to her instead, unless grandma does it herself? Justin Jacobson, Newark Valley. Hides her in the closet. That is correct. <laughs> That's 10 questions down. That's the end of round one between Grace Christian Academy and Newark Valley. The score is 30 to 20. Newark Valley in the lead by one question. When we come back, it's round two here on Scholarship Challenge. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayre Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. 
FCCB is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 44th Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to develop. By supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, FCCB is making an investment in the future. FCCB, committed to the communities they serve. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Dalton Williams, and I'd like to invite you to Williams Toyota of Serre. We are proud to partner with our community with our continued focus on youth activities, healthcare initiatives, and helping those that need it most right here in the Valley. We offer a friendly, no pressure atmosphere and make it easy to service your vehicle. You can comfortably wait in our newly renovated lounge with all the amenities to make you feel right at home. So visit us today in Serre or online at williamstoyotaofsare.com. Driving down the road, tuning in my dial. Local radio, playing songs with style. DJ's voice echoes through the countryside. Rhythm and beats taking me for a ride. Yeah, yeah. Local radio, local radio. Playing those songs, you lift my spirit high. Local radio, local radio. Local radio on you, I rely. Live. From the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome back to the Sayre Theater stage here in Sayre Borough. Sayre Theater is owned and operated by the Bradford County uh, Regional Arts Council and we appreciate them hosting us here today. Jessica Saviano, the Executive Director, Sarah Brackle, the Theater Manager here of Sayre Theater and, and uh, BCRAC also owns the Keystone Theater in Tawanda. Great local theaters and uh, we appreciate uh, any support you throw their way. Always nice to come and check them out. Concession stands are open this morning. If you want to grab uh, anything from there for our uh, uh, in-theater audience, we appreciate that. And sometimes when this place is open, I just stop by, grab some popcorn, and bring it home with me. You can do that, too. As this is Scholarship Challenge, there's a little bit of a competitive nature in the air. So I am going to throw out a challenge to our audience and our listeners today. I have on my phone on this podium the number of times our new app has been installed. The app is called My Hometown Today. Should I share the number of times it's been installed so far? I'm at, I'll tell you right now. It's 179 installations, and it's been one week since we put the app up. I'd like to see how many more installations we can get between now and and the next commercial break after 10 more questions. I'm going to throw that challenge out to our audience and to our listeners to see how high we can get this number during Scholarship Challenge today. So we're at 179 right now. And uh, all you have to do is search for My Hometown Today in your app store and download our free app where you can follow along with Scholarship Challenge today. My Hometown Today. All right, at the end of our first 10 questions of the day between uh, Grace Christian Academy and Newark Valley. Newark Valley is in the lead 30 to 20. That's a difference of just one question. So let's move on, shall we, to round two. Before we do that, I want to take a moment to uh, learn a little bit more about the Newark Valley Cardinals. And our uh, team captain is also going to read the bio for us. Uh, that is Fiona McMurray. Tell us a little bit about the Nurk Valley School District. <laughs> what? Did I say it right? Did, yes. did I say it right, Fiona? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Newark Valley is a district that offers many differing opportunities for a varied population. With flourishing FFA and customer service programs, including an on-site Visions Federal Credit Union for student internships, a College Board recognized AP program, as well as vibrant music, arts, and theater programs, Newark Valley provides many avenues for students to explore their possibilities before venturing out of high school. Ninety percent of our athletic teams are athletic scholarship teams. Next weekend, we are looking forward to our production of Matilda the Musical and a full complement of spring athletics this season. We're happy to be here and thankful for the continued tradition of Scholarship Challenge. 
and we're happy to have you here. Thank you, Fiona McMurray and the Newark Valley Cardinals. Congratulations on making it through qualifiers to be here today. You make us and your community very, very proud. In just 10 questions, we'll learn a little bit more about the Grace Christian Academy Eagles. But first, let's ask some more questions here on the 44th Scholarship Challenge Finals. Like Liechtenstein, this landlocked country is totally surrounded by other landlocked countries. It touches Colby Johnston, Grace Christian Academy. Uzbekistan. I had like a page and a half to go still, but you're correct. That's very good. Question 12. Complete this quote attributed to Confucius. Quote, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and... I understand is the answer we're looking for. Question 13 between Grace Christian and Newark Valley. Scores tied 30-30. 19th century American scientist Matthew Maury convinced John Quincy Adams to champion what building in Washington, D.C.? After it was built, Adams would occasionally come by to look at the heavens through its telescope. That would be the Naval Observatory. Question 14. In physics... A gluon can be seen if an electron collides with what antiparticle and the two annihilate each other? Danny Perger, Newark Valley. Positron. Is correct. Question number 15. What art term defined by New York's Museum of Modern Art is a component of paint that creates uniform consistency or cohesion. It's a binder. Question 16. In what grammatical mood is the word take in the sentence? Quote, the doctor recommends that I take a vitamin every day from now on. subjunctive. Question 17 between Grace Christian and Newark Valley. Newark Valley in the lead. He named his fur trading post in Oregon af uh, for himself. When he died in 1848, his New York City real estate holdings made him the richest man in America. What businessman's descendants built both the luxurious Waldorf Hotel and another hotel next door to it that eventually merged? John Jacob Astor. Question 18. This type of cell is attacked by the HIV virus. If your count of this cell becomes less than 200 per cubic millimeter, you will be diagnosed with AIDS. Danny Perger, Newark Valley. White blood cells. Judges? No. Incorrect? Incorrect. All right, we're going to repeat the question for Grace Christian. This type of cell is attacked by the HIV virus. If your count of this cell becomes less than 200 per cubic millimeter, you will be diagnosed with AIDS. Identify this type of white blood cell or leukocyte that gets its name from being created by the thymus gland. The T cell is what we were looking for there. Question 19. Like Freud, what Swiss psychologist divided the human psyche into three parts, but called two of them the personal unconscious and collective unconscious. That would be Carl Jung. 
Final question of this round. In a Tom Stoppard play, what two characters from Shakespeare's Hamlet end up dead? Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. All right, a little bit of a tough round there, but we are tied at 30 each uh, between Grace Christian Academy and Newark Valley Cardinals. Well played by both teams uh, because they didn't really fall for any of the real tricky, 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 tough ones. So that's good. We didn't really lose any points there this round. So when we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about the Grace Christian Academy Eagles, and we'll do 10 more questions in our third round here on Finals. It's Scholarship Challenge live from the Sayer Theater. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayer Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. One of the area's most respected law firms is also a longtime supporter of Scholarship Challenge. Attorneys are Joseph Landy and Damian M. Rossetti wish all of today's participants a rewarding, positive experience. Founded more than 60 years ago by Robert J. Landy, the Landy and Rossetti law firm specializes in criminal defense, wrongful death, personal injury, estate planning, gas and mineral rights, civil and commercial litigation, real estate, commercial transactions, and family law. Landy and Rosetti on Desmond Street in downtown Sayre. At CNN, we know life is full of ands. There's tuition and books, down payments and renovations, car loans and repairs, babies and kids, and more kids. Whether you're just starting out or thinking about retirement, our products, services, and expertise will prepare you for all of life's ands. For a bank that's personal and professional, Visit cnbankpa.com. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Tuning in and listening to the news. Hearing what's happening with local views. Across the country or in my town. I tune in to find out what's going down. From the Sayer Theater in Sayer, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome back to the Sayer Theater. It is our first match of the day between Newark Valley Cardinals and the Grace Christian Academy Eagles. All right, does anybody want the updated number? It did move. We went from 179 to 190 app installs. That's oh, 11. We need to have 200 before we leave. Before we leave what? We'll be at it today. That's only like 10. We could do two. We could get to 200 in the next like 10 minutes. Don't you think? I mean, hopefully. I mean, there's people driving around right now. And, and, they're, like, text and, drive I, and they're like, I can't download the app right now. I'm driving. That's fine. But when you get to where you're going, I know my hometown today, put that app in there so that we can keep you up to date on all things Scholarship Challenge. All right, let's take a moment to learn a little bit about the Grace Christian Academy Eagles. And to tell us more uh, from the floor, Mike, I am looking for, uh, nope, I'm not looking for the floor, Mike, because you're right there. Sorry, Alan. Alan Van Ostrand is going to tell us about the Grace Christian Academy Eagles. Grace Christian Academy is a parent-owned and operated kindergarten through 12th grade interdenominational school. Our school has a strong and well-rounded academic program with general college prep, honor programs, early, early college classes, and the opportunity to attend the Northern Tier Career Center for vocational and technical education. Our Eagle Sports program includes soccer, basketball, and volleyball. At Grace Christian Academy, our students have the opportunity to participate in diverse activities such as robotics, forensic science, music history, and hydroponics to enrich, challenge, promote leadership, and inspire their desire to learn. The mission of our school is to provide outstanding educational programs that reinforce Christian family values, pre prepare students to excel academically, and motivate them to develop a Christian lifestyle that results in service to God and mankind. We endeavor to foster a nurturing, mutually supportive school community of students who enthusiastically pursue, pursue learning and Christian character. We want to personally thank the Radigan Media Group for inviting us to this year's competition. It is a priv privilege to compete in the Scholarship Challenge. 
and it is a privilege to have you here. Thank you, Alan Van Ostrand, Grace Christian Academy, Eagles. All right, we're up to the third round now. That means we've done 20 questions. They've all been worth 10 points apiece. Now in the third round, they'll be worth 20 points apiece. So the score can really start to move around. You do get points for every correct answer, but you also get points taken away for every incorrect answer. The penalty for an incorrect answer is always 10 points here on Scholarship Challenge. But now as we move into the third round, these are 20 point questions. And as far as I'm concerned, this first question is a doozy. Pencils and paper ready. When graphing the polynomial x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth minus 16x to the third plus 46x to the second plus 63x minus 90, how many times does the graph cross the x-axis? No takers on stage. Anyone in the audience want to take a whack at that one? It's not seven. It's not eight. It's not three. I can't. I can't. I can't see your. I can't see your fingers from here. Five is the correct answer. That's twenty points for the audience. All right, question number two in round three. America's first expressionist play is considered to be this author's The Hairy Ape, written after his first two Pulitzer Prize winners, Beyond the Horizon and Anna Christie. Name this playwright who won a third Pulitzer for Strange Interlude and a fourth awarded posthumously for his play Long Day's Journey Into Night. That was Eugene O'Neill. Question 23. What sport's main object is to place the ball on the ground in the end zone and thus... Danny Perger, Newark Valley. Football. Incorrect. What sports, repeating for Grace Christian, what sports main object is to place the ball on the ground in the end zone and thus score a try? Rugby. Question 24. Give the past participle form of the verb lie, as in lying on a bed. That would complete the phrase, I have Fiona McMurray, Newark Valley. Laid. That is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Grace Christian Academy. Give the past participle form of the verb lie, as in lying on a bed, that would complete the phrase, I have. Mason Kellogg, Grace Christian. Lane. Lane is correct. Grace Christian Academy now in the lead 50 to 10 over Newark Valley. It's two question difference. Question number 25, Rembrandt made an etching of the death of what biblical martyr stoned in Acts chapter 7? Colby Johnston, Grace Christian. Stephen. Is correct. 70 to 10 now with five questions left. What Vesper shape of molecule has a central atom with four pairs of atoms each at a bond angle to it of 109.5 degrees. Tetrahedral. Question 27. One of Argentina's stock literary characters is what brave Argentine cowboy who rides horses and herds cattle? Gaucho. 
Question 28. 2023 marked 50 years since the Arab-Israeli War. Name for what Jewish holiday that was a major reason for creating America's Strategic Petroleum Reserve? Danny Perger, Newark Valley. Yom Kippur. That is correct. <laughs> 70 to 30 now. Two questions left. Question 29. He created the Utah Territory while president, but was considered a Confederate supporter during the Civil War. Name this last Whig to serve as president who was succeeded by Franklin Pierce. Justin Jacobs in Newark Valley. Millard Fillmore. That is correct. Grace Christian Academy still in the lead over Newark Valley by one question. One question left. Americans who receive what prestigious scholarship can study at the University of Oxford for free? Danny Perger, Newark Valley. The Oxford American Free Schooling Scholarship. <laughs> You were very close, very close, and I repeat, that's incorrect. <laughs> Repeating the question for Grace Christian Academy Eagles. Americans who receive what prestigious scholarship can study at the University of Oxford for free? You want to take another stab at it? Just one more. No. It doesn't count, but. <laughs> close. It was close. The Rhodes Scholarship. Well, that is the end of this match between Newark Valley Cardinals and the Grace Christian Academy Eagles. Grace Christian Academy will, uh, will uh, be in the final match of the day now, but uh, Newark Valley Cardinals. Man, you went out with some, some style there. I appreciate you. Like, hey, we need this question. That, that was good. That was very good. All right. You, you did well. Did you have fun this year on Scholarship Challenge? Yeah. You did? You did win money. You did, you did do well. You guys did just win uh, $500, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Fiona McMurray, Danny Perger, Bryce Dunn, Justin Jacobson. You did the Newark Valley School District, which is Newark Valley, Berkshire, Berkshire and Newark Valley, Berkshire, and Richford, and Berkshire, sorry, Berkshire, <laughs> and, and Tioga County, well, representing the Empire State of New York here on Scholarship Challenge today. Thank you guys very much. You did a great job. Grace Christian Academy Eagles will uh, hang around today because they're going to want to play a team in just a little bit. When we come back, it's Northeast Bradford and Tawanda on Scholarship Challenge. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayre Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. Now is the time to tackle debt with the Guthrie Community Credit Union. Transfer high interest balances to a GCCU Visa credit card and save. Guthrie's Visa credit card features 0% APR for 12 months with no balance transfer or annual card fees. It could be a great way to consolidate and pay off high interest debt sooner and for less. Apply online at GuthrieFCU.org and start your journey towards financial freedom. Certain restrictions apply. Membership eligibility is required. Guthrie Community Credit Union is an equal opportunity lender. One of the most respected and appreciated businesses in the Valley community is Jeff Paul Plumbing, Heating, and Electric. Serving residential and commercial customers for over 40 years. They started small and have continued to expand to meet the needs of the Twin Tiers. Offering high-quality service with a personal touch. There's one goal at Jeff Paul, your complete satisfaction. For plumbing, heating, and electrical, call Jeff Paul. Effective ads, grabbing my attention. Commercial so good, they deserve a mention. Local radio, it's power shows every day, making businesses grow. Hey, yeah, yeah. Local radio, local radio, works so well, makes me wanna buy. Local radio, local radio, boosting our businesses into the sky. <laughs> 
Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome back to the Sayre Theater. It is the 44th Annual Scholarship Challenge. Week number six today is the finals. And uh, during the last round, Grace Christian Academy just defeated Newark Valley by one question. We would like to make sure that Newark Valley sticks around for our plaque presentation here at the end of the broadcast. But who could go now? Because we have to find out who wins. I mean, we've come this far. That's pretty great. Um, checking in on the app, 193. 193. We only did three in the last section here. I know everybody's hanging on the edge of their seat. So if you haven't put the My Hometown Today app on your phone yet, please do that. You put it on tablets too, by the way. My Hometown Today. Appreciate you downloading that. Two fresh teams here up on stage. So it's time to do introductions once again. Uh, we want to welcome back to the stage uh, to Wanda Black Knights and Northeast Bradford Panthers. We will begin with introductions from Northeast Bradford Panthers, uh, and that uh, starts us off with team captain, Ed Eastman. Thank you, Mr. Radigan, and good morning, everyone. I am Ed Eastman, a sophomore at Northeast Bradford. I attend the West Warren Congregational Church, and I play soccer for the school. Very good. Thank you, Ed. Next to Ed is Kaya Frazier. Thank you. I'm a member of National Honor Society and the Student Government Association. I'm a junior, and I plan to pursue a career in orthodontics or dentistry in the future. Very good. Thank you, Kaya. And Lila Hughes. Thank you, Mr. Radigan. My name is Lila Hughes, and I'm a junior at Northeast Bradford. I run varsity track and cross country, and I play varsity basketball. I'm a member of National Honor Society and Student Government Association, and I would like to major in biochemistry to pursue a career in orthodontics. Very good. Thank you, Lila. And to our far stage left is Ryan Jones. Thank you, and good morning. I'm a junior at NEB, and I'm very active in the district. I serve as the president of my class, a treasurer's of our chapter of National Honor Society and as a member of our Student Government Association. Outside of school, I enjoy running and have maintained a daily running streak for 1,442 days, which is almost four years. I also enjoy volunteering for various other organizations. Very good. Thank you, Ryan Jones. Northeast Bradford is also joined by uh, alternates Jaden Fox here in the theater with us, and uh, team advisor is Melissa Tewksbury, school principal is Amy Brown, and the superintendent is Matt Holmes. Matt is here today. Thank you for uh, joining us, superintendent. The school colors for Northeast Bradford Panthers are maroon and gray. Joining us to my right, Tawanda Black Knights, team captain Kirsten Atwood. Hello, my name is Kirsten Atwood. I am a junior at Tawanda High School. Um, I am a member of our jazz band, marching band, and concert band, and I plan to pursue biochemistry or medicine at Penn State University when I graduate. Very good. Thank you, Kirsten. Uh, next to Kirsten is Hudson Wheaton. Hello, my name is Hudson Wheaton, and I am a member of Tawanda marching band and concert band, and um, I'm also in student council. All right, thank you, Hudson. And next to Hudson is Garrett Garcia. My name is Garrett Garcia, and I play the trumpet in the marching, jazz, uh, concert, and pit band. All right, thank you, Garrett. And all the way to our stage right is Tristan Osowski. Hello, I am Tristan, and I'm a freshman at Tawanda High School. All right, thank you for being here. Tawanda Black Knights uh, are joined on stage by team alternate Hayden Snell. Team advisors Peter Henty, school principals Rebecca Stanfield, and school superintendent, also in attendance here today, is Dennis Peachy. Tawanda Black Knights, school colors, black and orange. Appreciate both teams joining us here today on Scholarship Challenge. As we get into this uh, second match of the day, it's the same format as before. Uh, we have 10-point questions. Uh, for the first two rounds, followed by 20-point questions. It's three rounds of 10 questions. And so now we will move into those first 10 questions between Tawanda and Northeast Bradford on Scholarship Challenge Finals. The Norse god Odin is represented with only one eye, having sacrificed the other eye to gain what 
character trait. Wisdom. Question number two. Candidates running for governor in this state in 2023 were the son of a former governor and the state's attorney general attacked for his skin color with the saying, skin folk ain't kin folk. Identify this southern state where 2023 saw the black Republican Daniel Cameron lose to the Democrat incumbent Andy Bashir. That's Kentucky. Question number three between Tawanda Black Knights and Northeast Bradford Panthers. It involves taking the middle term of a trinomial, dividing its coefficient by two, multiplying that by itself, and then adding the result to both sides. Name this method of solving some at Eastman, Northeast Bradford. Completing the square. Is correct. Question number four, give the five word title of Charles Darwin's 1859 book explaining natural selection. Ed Eastman, Northeast Bradford. The origins of the species. Just double checking with the judges. And that is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Tawanda Black Knights. Give the five-word title of Charles Darwin's 1859 book explaining natural selection. The answer we're looking for, on the origin of species. Question number five, complete this sentence from the official baseball rules. Quote, the second game of this shall start 20 minutes after the first game is completed. At Eastman, Northeast Bradford. A double header. Correct. Name the first major work by Leonardo da Vinci that displays Gabriel telling Mary she will have a son. Nobody rang in the Annunciation. Question number seven, give the one word preposition that goes with the verb in the next sentence and fills in the blank. The driver blamed the pedestrian blank the accident. Lila Hughes, Northeast Bradford. Four. Four is correct. Question number eight, in a chemistry lab, what item of equipment allows you to get a solid grip on a very hot crucible or beaker? Ryan Jones, Northeast Bradford. Tongs. That's correct. Question number nine between Tawanda Black Knights and Northeast Bradford Panthers. Northeast in the lead. Paul Revere probably did not cry, the British are coming, because everyone in America was still British then. Give either word he probably used instead of British, referring to British uniforms or an... Lila Hughes, Northeast Bradford. Redcoats. Redcoats, correct. correct. <laughs> Question number 10. The poet Brayton Breitenbach is known for writing in what official language of South Africa that has some similarities to both German and Dutch? Hudson Wheaton, Tawanda. Afrikaans. That's correct. That's the end of the first round. In the second match, 10 questions down between Tawanda and Northeast. Northeast now in the lead over Tawanda, 40 to 10. When we come back, 10 more questions. It's round two on Scholarship Challenge. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayre Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. Ready for a financial glow up? Look no further than Ingersoll Rand Federal Credit Union. We've got great rates for your life. Whether it's for your dream home or a new ride, we've got your back. Easily access your IRFCU accounts with our mobile app. View balances, deposit checks, and move money with just a tap. 
your money, your way. Here at IRFCU, we are committed to our community through our financial education programs in schools and free financial counseling for members in need. We're building a stronger community together. When you're looking to broadcast your product, service, brand, or event to a large audience, Radigan Media can help. Whether you need us to solve a short-term problem, manage a campaign, or run your whole marketing department, our team of experts can help you with whatever you need. With popular FM brands in Corning, Elmira, Waverly, Sayre, Tawanda, Owego, and Binghamton, chances are we have the reach you need. Plus, we now have every mainstream format from adult contemporary to hot adult contemporary, top 40, country, news talk, classic country, classic hits, and classic rock. Radigan Media services every demographic, driving results for you. And if you're looking for something super targeted, our full suite of digital products can deliver the exact customer you're searching for. So for your next event, bright idea, or maybe some brand awareness, start here. 17 Signals, one team, locally owned and family operated. Big enough to work, small enough to care. Radigan Media. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome back to Scholarship Challenge. We are in our second match of the day. Let's recap the day for just a moment here. We uh, began with the qualifiers from round one, Newark Valley, uh, and the qualifiers from round three, Grace Christian Academy. Grace Christian Academy won that round, and they advanced to the final uh, spot here. Uh, to take on the winner of the match that we're in currently. Our current match is between Northeast Bradford and Tawanda. Northeast Bradford were qualifiers on February 10th for our second round, and Tawanda qualified uh, in round four on March 2nd, all heard here on these stations and from this stage here in Sayre. So it's Northeast Bradford and Tawanda uh, on the stage currently. Northeast Bradford's in the lead 40 to 10. And uh, the winner of this match will take on Grace, uh, Grace Christian Academy uh, for the uh, first um, and second uh, title here. So we're uh, determining who's in first, second, third, and fourth today on Scholarship Challenge. I want to take a moment, moment to uh, reintroduce the Northeast Bradford Panthers by learning a little bit about their school district. Team alternate Jaden Fox is on the wireless mic this morning. She's going to tell us about the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Northeast Bradford Junior Senior High School, located in Bradford County, Pennsylvania, is home to some 400 students ranging from 7 through 12. The district may be very small and rural, but this does not hinder the school or the performance of its students. The school offers advanced placement as well as rigorous courses in every discipline. We offer a wide range of extracurricular activities, such as our Outstanding National Honor Society and FFA chapters, Student Government Association, SAD, and the Spark After School Program. As for athletics, the Panthers enjoy many successes with both girls and boys cross-country teams, winning districts and qualifying for states. The volleyball team won the district title this year for the first time in school's history. The girls' basketball team has won the NTL title for the past five years. Additionally, Northeast Bradford has sanctioned girls wrestling and has a growing team. Northeast Bradford has a very involved music and drama department whose most recent production of The Wizard of Oz was a rousing success. I am proud to go to this small school with a big heart, and we as a team are excited to participate in Scholarship Challenge. We would like to thank the Radigan Broadcasting Group and the sponsors of this excellent activity for local high school students. Thank you, Jaden Brown, or Jaden Fox here in the uh, first row. Uh, great job. T stand up, take a bow, and let's have a round of applause for the Northeast Bradford Panthers. <laughs> All right, let's continue with our match here. Uh, we have completed 10 questions so far. Let's go into 10 more questions. They're worth 10 points apiece. In the deaf sign language alphabet, what letter is made by wrapping your index finger around your thumb? Letter T. Question 12 between Tawanda and Northeast. He has received both the Presidential Medal of Freedom and a Nobel Prize for Literature. 
Name this American folk singer whose songs include Kirsten Atwood, Tawanda. Bob Dylan. Very good. Do you know his real name? I didn't know it either, but it's on the page in front of me. Would you like to know it? Robert Zimmerman. I don't know. Okay. Question 13. Give the seven-letter word starting with M that is used in uh, physics to mean a coefficient pertaining to a physical property that can follow the words shear, elastic, bulk, and Young's. Modulus. Question 14 between Tawanda and Northeast. What neighboring state to the south of Tennessee contains a lot of the Tennessee River? Alabama. Question 15. What U.S. president's namesake doctrine that dates from 1985 said, we must not break faith with those who are risking their lives to defy Soviet-supported aggression and secure rights which have been ours from birth? Audience, you want to take a stab at that one? That is correct. Ten more points for the audience. There are 30 points for the day. Question six. George Gershwin's concerto for what musical instrument was commissioned by jazz great Benny Goodman, who required that Goodman be the only one to play it for two years? Clarinet. Question 17. During the 87 years this proclamation was in force, it benefited Protestants more than Jews or Muslims. After its revocation by King Louis XIV's Edict of uh, Fon uh, Fontainebleau in 1685, this proclamation's beneficiaries moved out of France. What 1598 edict issued by France's King Henry IV granted tolerance to French Huguenots. Edict of Nance. Question 18. Pencils and paper ready. Give the log base 4 of 1024. Time is up. Answer is five. Question 19. She seeks revenge for the assault of her sister by the Evremond brothers. Name this vengeful woman who sits near the gu guillotine knitting to watch those executed during the French Revolution before she is shot to death with her own gun by Miss Pross at the end of the Dickens novel A Tale of Two Cities. Madame Defarge. Question 20 between Tawanda and Northeast Bradford. Scores 40 to 20. Northeast is in the lead. What word found in a credit card statement describes the extra money you must pay this month if you didn't pay everything back last month, usually 1 to 2 percent of what you owe? Ed Eastman, Northeast Bradford. Interest. Interest is correct. At the end of the second round of questions between Tawanda and Northeast, Northeast remains in the lead 50 to 20. When we come back, I've got 10 questions. They're worth 20 points apiece on Scholarship Challenge. This is the award-winning Scholarship Challenge on WATS Air, WAVR-FM Waverly, WEBO Oigo, WTTC-FM Tawanda, WTXW Tawanda, WOKN-FM Southport, WLBY Elmira Heights Horsehead, and WELM Elmira, a presentation of the locally owned and operated Radigan Media Group and this station. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayer Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. 
FCCB is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 44th Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to develop. By supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, FCCB is making an investment in the future. FCCB, committed to the communities they serve. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Dalton Williams, and I'd like to invite you to Williams Toyota of Sarah. We are proud to partner with our community with our continued focus on youth activities, healthcare initiatives, and helping those that need it most right here in the Valley. We offer a friendly, no pressure atmosphere and make it easy to service your vehicle. You can comfortably wait in our newly renovated lounge with all the amenities to make you feel right at home. So visit us today in Sare or online at WilliamsToyotaOfSare.com. Step into a community that understands. The American Legion Post 42 in Tawanda, welcoming past and current military members. You've honored your nation. Now serve your community. Join hands with fellow vets. Share stories and make a difference. At the Tawanda American Legion, we're more than just a club. We're your second family. We advocate for better pay, improved housing, and proper medical care for veterans. All new members get their first year at no charge. Drop by at your convenience. Let's strengthen our bond of comradeship together. The American Legion Post 42 to Wanda. We help get our vets the benefits they earned and deserve. Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Good morning. There we are. Welcome back to the Say Your Theater. My name is Dave Radigan, host of Scholarship Challenge here, along with my wife, Irene Radigan, on our 17 Radigan Media Group stations, along with video streams on our Choice 102 Facebook page and YouTube uh, under our Scholarship Challenge YouTube account. And of course, on the My Hometown Today app. Have any of you ever heard of it? Yeah, I know. Uh, at least 198 of you have heard of it, and we appreciate that. Let's see if we can get the 200 mark here in the next few minutes. I feel like I'm running a bit of a telethon, and I am, and it's shameless, and I understand, but thank you for humoring me anyway. We want to take a moment before we get into round three of questions between Tawanda and Northeast Bradford to learn a little bit about the Tawanda School District. And to do that, team alternate Hayden Snell joins us on the wireless mic. Make sure that switch is all the way up there, Hayden. What a great Saturday for the competition. Thank you to the Radigans, the radio team, and the sponsors. If you've ever been to Tawanda, you know that it is a town rich in history. At Tawanda, us Black Knights have continued to make our own history. This past fall and winter, our athletic peers competed on district and state levels, along with students making the NTL All-Star teams. We are immensely proud of all our athletic coaches, players, and managers for their achievements. Not highlighted enough, I would like to acknowledge our academic achievements as a school. Our FBLA club has sent our students to new heights competing statewide. Our NHS has continued to assist our community and school through many volunteers and dedication to Black Knight Pride. Spring in Tawanda is an energetic time with our track, baseball, softball, and boys tennis team in action, along with the production of our spring musical, My Son Pinocchio, approaching. History is made by the people that take time to truly live, and all of us at Tawanda are grateful for the opportunity to make history and grateful for this opportunity to be with you today. I would like to say thank you to the teachers that have taught me, the staff that has made the school lovely, and the administration for giving us opportunities to grow. Good luck to all that are here and to all the Knights representing our school on the field, the court, the stage, the classroom, and beyond. Very good. Thank you, Hayden Snell. Stand up, take a bow. The Tawanda Black Knights. All right. Uh, we are entering into the third round of questions between Tawanda and Northeast. It's 10 questions left between these two. They're now worth 20 points apiece for correct answers, and it's a 10-point deduction for any incorrect answers. As it stands, Northeast Bradford is in the lead over Tawanda by a question and a half, 50 to 20. So let's see what happens here over the next 10 questions. Are you ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Apparently, the tough questions are for me. Have to do with pronunciation. His son, Deucalion, survived a worldwide flood that lasted nine days. Name this Greek of myth who was punished by having an eagle chew on his liver. Lila Hughes, Northeast Bradford. Prometheus. Got it. 70 to 20 now, Northeast in the lead. Question 22. What third highest mountain is in the Himalayas after Mount Everest and K2 also starts with K? Lila Hughes, Northeast. Mount Kilimanjaro. That is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Tawanda. What third highest mountain is in the Himalayas after Mount Everest and K2 also starts with K? The answer is Mount Kanchenjunga. K-A-N-C-H-E-N-J-U-N-G-A. Everybody heard of that one? Yeah, me either. Question 23. Give the word starting with C for an official rebuke of a congressman by the rest of Congress for bad behavior. Ed Eastman, Northeast Bradford. A censure. That is correct. Question number 24. This author's 2023 Pulitzer Prize winning novel, Demon Copperhead, moves the Dickens novel, David Copperfield, to the poor part of Virginia. What American author of the nonfiction book, Animal, Vegetable, Miracle, is still most famous for her novel about a missionary family in Congo called the Poisonwood Bible? Barbara Kingsolver. Question 25 between Tawanda and Northeast. Northeast in the lead 80 to 20. This country was first led after independence by uh, Archbishop Makiros III, who was overthrown in 1974 by those who wanted a union with Greece. This country was then invaded by Turkish forces to protect the country's Turkish minority. Identify this island nation... Cyprus. Tristan Osowski, Tawanda, Cyprus is correct. <laughs> Tawanda up, up to 40 points now, trailing Northeast Bradford by two questions. Question number 26 of 30. This idea was created with the idea that over time, a company's workforce will reflect the gender, racial, and ethnic profile of the labor pools from which the company recruits and selects. Give this two-word phrase still usable in employment, but according to the Supreme Court, not in college admissions. Ryan Jones, Northeast Bradford. Equal opportunity. And that is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Tawanda. This idea was created with the idea that over time, a company's workforce will reflect the gender, racial, and ethnic profile of the labor pools from which the company recruits and selects. Give this two-word phrase still usable in employment, but according to the Supreme Court, not in college admissions. Time is up. The answer we we're looking for, affirmative action. Question number 27 between Tawanda and Northeast. Northeast in the lead. In the game of backgammon, a prime is what number of consecutive unlandable points on the board? Six. Question number 28. Oxygen enters the water in an estuary either by photosynthesis from the plants there or by what process where oxygen from the atmosphere spreads out over the water's surface? Tristan Osowski, Tawanda. Diffusion. Diffusion is correct. Tawanda is now 10 points behind Northeast Bradford. Questions are worth 20 points apiece, and there are two of them left. 
Which short story by Edgar Allan Poe includes a search for Captain Kidd's pirate treasure? Time is up. Nobody rang in. The gold bug. Question 30, final question. One reason France decided to sell the Louisiana Purchase to the U.S. was the trouble it was having with the slave rebellion in what present day? Uh, Jamaica, Garrett, uh, Jamaica. Garrett Garcia, Tawanda? Jamaica. Is incorrect. I'll repeat the question for Northeast Bradford. One reason France decided to sell the Louisiana Purchase to the U.S. was the trouble it was having with the slave rebellion in what present-day Caribbean nation called Saint Domingue back then that shares the island of Hispaniola with the Dominican Republic? Kaya Frazier, Northeast Bradford. Haiti. Haiti is correct. That is the end of the match between Tawanda Black Knights and Northeast Bradford Panthers. Northeast Bradford wins the match 90 to 50. Great job by Northeast and Tawanda. You guys have done very, very well for yourselves. I know Tawanda is well represented in the audience here today. I know Dennis Peachy is here somewhere. Where are you, Dennis? Anybody want to hand Dennis a microphone? Putting everybody on the spot here now. Sorry, I don't plan ahead very well. Thank you, Richard. Richard's a Tawanda alum, by the way. Dennis, how are you feeling about your students here? Oh, just uh, very proud of, of our students and all the students that, that are involved. That was, uh, that was a nice little comeback there near the end uh, to, to push Northeast. Uh, so very proud of, of our, our students and all the students here. Kirsten Atwood. Uh, Hudson Wheaton, Garrett Garcia, Tristan Osowski, you guys did a great job up on stage here. And of course, uh, Hayden Snell as well. Thank you guys so much for being part of Scholarship Challenge here today. When we come back, we have a little bit of business to attend here on Scholarship Challenge. Only four teams participating today, which would generally make for a slightly shorter broadcast, but it's finals, and we got stuff to do and stuff to talk about. So when we come back, we're going to have a chat with State Representative Tina Pickett, and we also uh, need to take care of some uh, Bradford County Regional Arts Council business, which will be a, a sneakrit as we used to call here with the kids, a secret uh, and a surprise coming up in just a few moments. So stick around for that. And then the exciting conclusion, we'll find out who's going to be first and second. We know who's third and fourth. Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford will uh, play for the championship when we come back here on the Scholarship Challenge. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayer Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. FCCB is proud to partner with Choice 102 for the 44th Annual Scholarship Challenge because they believe inspiring young minds is a mission that extends beyond the classroom. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders and each has a gift to develop. By supporting local educational programs like Scholarship Challenge, FCCB is making an investment in the future. FCCB, committed to the communities they serve. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Dalton Williams, and I'd like to invite you to Williams Toyota of Sayre. We are proud to partner with our community with our continued focus on youth activities, healthcare initiatives, and helping those that need it most right here in the Valley. We offer a friendly, no pressure atmosphere and make it easy to service your vehicle. You can comfortably wait in our newly renovated lounge with all the amenities to make you feel right at home. So visit us today in Sayre or online at WilliamsToyotaOfSayre.com. Driving down the road, tuning in my dial. Local radio, playing songs of style. DJ's voice echoes through the countryside. Rhythm and beats taking me for a ride. Yeah, yeah. Local radio, local radio. Playing those songs, you lift my spirit high. Local radio. Local radio, local radio on you, I rely. 
Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. That's us. Welcome back to the Sayer Theater. It's a scholarship challenge, year number 44, week number six, the finals. A very, very exciting day after a year's worth of uh, work uh, from the students studying up and spending their lunches and after schools practicing and taking uh, all kinds of these, uh, um, I don't want to say tests, but like matches between one another, uh, doing trivia and all that great stuff. It prepares them for scholarship challenge and puts them in the running for uh, uh, prizes here. Of course, the Kwasnowski Cup and uh, also uh, cash prizes for their school district as well. I want to bring in State Representative Tina Pickett with the wireless mic, um, which we'll run over to you there. Uh, three of our final teams today hail from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Of course, a multi-state broadcast here between New York and PA and our uh, Top three final teams are from New York, so I'm betting that makes uh, you pretty proud there, doesn't it? The students are so amazing. I tell you, I'm proud of them no matter where they're from, but rooting for PA today. Sorry about that, New York. I love you too, but rooting for PA today. Fantastic, fantastic show, students. These guys are doing great, and of course, um, Harrisburg keeps you busy uh, when we're not keeping you busy back here in the Valley. Harrisburg keep, does keep me busy, but I want to let these students know that one third of Pennsylvania's budget goes to education funding. Education is very important in Pennsylvania to each and all of us. We know that it's a great uh, base for the success of Pennsylvania. And when I meet young students like yourselves, I always say, please stay in Pennsylvania. We want to keep you here. That's right. Well, uh, any uh, other updates you'd like to give us is what's going on in Harrisburg? Or? We'll, we'll be going back to work on that budget for the next two months. Uh, it'll be the, the main focus among other legislation that will get passed. But we will be working uh, to make sure that the money that the uh, people pay to Pennsylvania is spent in a wise manner. Excellent. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Radigan Media, for doing this. We're, we're just so happy that you are continuing to do scholarship scholarship challenge it's a very unique presentation in our area well we love doing it we think it's very unique and thank you for not throwing us out here when we try to keep it going because i know it's not exactly the same but we try to keep it as true to form as possible from the creator chuck carver who's a dear friend of all of ours here at scholarship challenge and in the community so we keep this going uh not just for him uh, or for the students or the community but because we think this thing is totally awesome and uh, that's why whenever we are lucky enough to add a radio station to our company we add scholarship challenge to it so that's why our friends are now listening uh, in Owego and Binghamton and Tawanda and Y Sox and Corning and Elmira if this is your first time hearing scholarship challenge it is an institution that's been running on choice 102 WAVR and Waverly and Liberty 960 WATS in Sayre for the last 44 years and we're pleased to bring the uh, uh, talent of these students to you this Saturday uh, for your listening pleasure. This is called Scholarship Challenge. These students are competing for the Kwasnowski Cup, and the Kwasnowski Cup happens to be named for a certain individual of the Kwasnowski family. We are at the Sayer Theater, and uh, I happen to be on the board of directors for the Bradford County Regional Arts Council, uh, who owns the Sayer Theater and the Keystone Theater in Tawanda. And joining us up on stage today is the executive director of the Bradford County Regional Arts Council. Her name is Jessica Saviano, and uh, we want to just take a pause from the scholarship challenge action to talk a little bit about the Bradford County Regional Arts Council. I know I'm putting you on the spot, but tell us just basically about the BCRAC, some of our programs that we do throughout the year. So we have the theaters that run movies. Um, the Sayer Theater is open every day. Tawanda Theater is currently open five days a week, um, running first run movies. We have um, the last two years successfully done a Dancing with the Stars event at a Keystone Theater. Um, we're doing a musical this summer here at the Sayer Theater for the first time in a very long time, maybe ever. Um, we're doing Big the Musical. So we do live theater. We bring in musicians, performances. We bring in professional live um, theater groups that can perform for, we have our school time series, so performs for young children. 
Um, we have our Art Again kits, which are free kits that we give out to kids, which are made of recycled art products. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's more. <laughs> there's a lot. If you ever become a board member of the BCRAC, they will blow up your in inbox with all kinds of things daily about things going on in our community. And the BCRAC is a, a wonderful, wonderful organization. Now, we'll, we'll get to the Kwasnowski Cup part of it here a little bit later on in the broadcast. But one of the tie-ins we have to the broadcast here uh, at Scholarship Challenge, the fact that we're in the Sayer Theater, is that Marie Kwasnowski was also a board member member of the Bradford County uh, uh, Regional Arts Council for a very long period of time. And between last year's scholarship challenge and this year's scholarship challenge, Marie passed away. So we miss her an awful lot here at BCRAC, and she worked to make this theater a lot of what it is, right down to picking out the carpet here when you came into the place uh, this morning. So uh, uh, we have a, a little bit of a dedication that we want to make in Marie's honor, and uh, we'd like to bring out Lisa Kwasnowski. Lucas, who's with us here today, uh, as well as Matt Kwasnowski and uh, Dan Kwasnowski. Dan was uh, Marie's uh, husband, and Matt and Lisa are uh, uh, two of their uh, grown-up adult children. But let me turn the mic back to Jessica, who has a, a statement she'd like to read from the BCRAC. So today we honor the memory of Marie Kwasnowski, a remarkable individual whose legacy will forever remain intertwined with the Bradford County Regional Arts Council. As one of the original board members, Marie's unwavering dedication, passion, and vision have left an indelible mark in our organization and the community it serves. Marie's commitment to the arts was unparalleled. Her tireless efforts, steadfast belief in the transformative power of creativity have enriched countless lives through the Bradford County and beyond. Whether through her advocacy for arts education, her support for local artists, or her leadership in shaping the cultural landscape of our region, Marie's impact has been profound and enduring. Beyond her professional contributions, Marie was a beloved friend, mentor, and inspiration to many. Her warmth, kindness, and boundaries, boundless enthusiasm touched the hearts of all who had the privilege of knowing her. Marie's spirit will continue to guide us as we strive to fulfill the mission that she held so dear. We also remember Marie's instrumental role in obtaining our beautiful chandeliers, which now eliminate our theaters and serve as a symbol to her dedication to enhancing our artistic spaces. Marie gave countless hours and, hours and dollars to the Sayre Theater as she herself was found ripping up the old wood floors at the BC, when the BCRAC purchased the Sayre Theater back in 1994. Today, as we reflect on Marie's extraordinary life and legacy, let us celebrate the incredible legacy that she leaves behind. She let us carry forward her passion for the arts, her dedication to community, and her unwavering commitment to making the world a more beautiful and vibrant place. <laughs> we will hang this star in memory of Marie Kwasnowski. May she continue to honor her legacy by fostering creativity, promoting cultural enrichment, and ensuring that arts remain a vital and cherished part of our collective experience. Thank you, Marie, for your countless contributions and lasting impact you have made. You will be deeply missed, but your spirit will live in the hearts of all who knew you. Uh, now, on stage again with uh, us is uh, um, Marie's daughter, Lisa Kwasnowski Lu Lewis Lucas. Excuse me, I'm tongue tied today. It always happens on Scholarship Challenge without fail. Would you like to say anything? Mm, it, it's an honor to represent my family and accept the honor of a star here in the theater. Um, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> So if you remember one thing that my mom always said was every day is a gift. So make sure every day that you do something to enrich the lives of others. Now, while I have you here, as we're, I, I feel like it's timely and, and fitting to take a moment here as uh, Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford uh, Panthers here are about to uh, determine our, our championship here and play for the Kwasnowski Cup, the beautiful Kwasnowski Cup as we always call it. Um, not everybody knows 
why it's named the Kwasnowski Cup and who it's named after. So uh, before these uh, eight students are about to play for that Kwasnowski Cup, I wonder if you might share with us why we call it that. Well, the Kwasnowski Cup is named after my brother Daniel, who is deceased since 1985 and was one of the original, I guess it all started in 1980, so he was on the 1984 team. And so in honor of him, the Chuck Carver and whoever was in management at that time decided to dedicate the, the trophy and call it the Kwasnowski Cup. And so there it is adorning our stage here at the front. And so I'd like to give a round of applause for the Kwasnowski Cup for their years of support of Scholarship Challenge. Thank you very much, Lisa and Jessica. Appreciate it very much. Uh, so there you go. Uh, a little bit of uh, backstory here on uh, Scholarship Challenge, but the Sayer Theater as well, the Kwasnowski family. And uh, also in our audience here today is Lisa's brother, Matt, and their father, Dan, who joins us. So we appreciate their support. And uh, Dan, you have not missed a Scholarship Challenge for how long? Forever. Is that right? Pretty basically forever. So thank you very much for that support. You and Larry and the folks who come back and Tina, uh, year after year after year supporting these students and this uh, cause, we appreciate very, very much. All right. Um, I can't say that we have two fresh teams here up on stage because they have been competing in numerous matches throughout this six week long season. I can, however, tell you that this will be the last match of the season and it is down to our uh, last two contestants, Northeast Bradford Panthers and Grace Christian Academy Eagles. So uh, once again, I will reintroduce these two teams who have already been on this broadcast before and even today. Uh, to my right, Grace Christian Academy Eagles, Colby Johnston, Caleb Van Ostrand, Mason Kellogg, Jacob Gorsline. Grace Christian Academy is also joined by uh, Caleb Van Ostrand. Well, I have you on here. And, yep, we did some changes. You did some swaps. So I'm missing who else is on the team today that's uh, now sitting in the – In, I want to make sure I give you everybody – Say, go ahead and turn his mic on for just a second. Uh, Alan Van Ostrand and Genevieve Andrus. And they are here along with advisors Chris Gorsline and Chantel Fulmer, school administrator Scott Webster, uh, who is here in attendance today as well. To my left, Northeast Bradford Panthers. Uh, they are Ed Eastman, the team captain, Kaya Frazier, Lila Hughes, Ryan Jones, and Jaden Fox here as well. Their team advisor, Melissa Tewksbury, school principal Amy Brown, superintendent Matt Holmes, who is also here today. And am I missing anybody from uh, the Northeast Bradford crew? All right. These are our two finalist teams here. They're playing for first and second place, respectively. We're starting here. Fresh scoreboard, 0-0, zero, zero, 30 questions, three rounds, 10-point questions in the first two rounds, 20-point questions in the third round, and uh, minus 10 for any incorrect answers. It's getting serious now as we approach 1130 on Scholarship Challenge. We want to thank you for tuning in and remind you uh, to download the My Hometown Today app. We were just about to break... Uh, 200 here a minute ago we had 199 so if you've already downloaded it now what i want you to do is text a friend and say hey download the my hometown today app okay enough with that let's get into the last match of the day it's finals here on scholarship channel teams are you ready all right let's roll question number one the super order paleognathae consists of very large birds that don't do what? Colby Johnston, Grace Christian Academy. Fly. That's correct. <laughs> Question number two. What cereal company makes the popular brands Wheat Checks and Lucky Charms? Lila Hughes, Northeast Bradford. Kellogg's. That is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Grace Christian Academy. What cereal company makes the popular brands Wheat Checks and Lucky Charms. General Mills. Question number three. Which animal describes the stock market when stocks have been down a lot at Eastman Northeast Bradford? Bear. Bear is correct. Question 
Explorer Louis Vez de Torres explored the Torres Strait, a body of water between Papua New Guinea on the north and what larger nation to the south? Colby Johnston, Grace Christian Academy. Australia. Australia is correct. Question five. Near the end of World War II, in early 1945, the U.S. took what Japanese island and put a flag on its Mount Ed Eastman, Northeast Bradford? Iwo Jima. That is correct. Question number six. The set of frescoes painted by Johto for the Arena Chapel includes a panel called The Kiss of what man who betrayed Jesus? Caleb Van Ostrand, Grace Christian Academy. Uh, Judas. Judas is correct. Question number seven. Since 1950, its special status in India has included its own flag and its own constitution. In what specific geographic area of India have Muslims been a majority that may now be dissipated by Hindus planning to move in? Kashmir. Question eight. What word starting with P describes a nitrate or sulfate added to fresh food to keep it from spoiling? Kaya Frazier, Northeast Bradford. Preservative. Preservative? Yes. Correct. Well, I shouldn't repeat the answer, should I? Question number nine. Near the sun in astronomy's Hertzsprung Russell diagram, can you can find the two main stars in what closest star system to Earth. At Eastman, Northeast Bradford. Alpha Centauri. That's correct. 30 to 20 right now. Grace Christian is in the lead over Northeast. We're tied, 30-30. All right. Hang on. We good? Judges? Everybody? We're all on the same page? Sometimes we do a little, a little gut check here. Okay. 30-30, okay. This is why we have judges, to keep us on track. Lots of, lots of things going on here all at the same time. We appreciate that. All right, it's question 10. Last question of round one between Grace Christian and Northeast Bradford. Sc uh, score is tied at 30. Maya Angelou's autobiography that begins with I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings includes another volume called Singin' and Swingin' and Gettin' Merry Like What? Christmas. All right, that's the end of 10 questions between Grace Christian and Northeast Bradford. We are tied 30-30 at the end of round one. Two rounds remain on scholarship challenge number 44. These are the finals. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayer Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. One of the area's most respected law firms is also a longtime supporter of Scholarship Challenge. Attorneys are Joseph Landy and Damian M. Rossetti wish all of today's participants a rewarding, positive experience. Founded more than 60 years ago by Robert J. Landy, the Landy and Rossetti law firm specializes in criminal defense, wrongful death, personal injury, estate planning, gas and mineral rights, civil and commercial litigation, real estate, commercial transactions, and family law. Landy and Rossetti on Desmond Street in downtown Sayre. At CNN, we know life is full of ands. There's tuition and books, down payments and renovations, car loans and repairs, babies and kids, and more kids. Whether you're just starting out or thinking about retirement, our products, services, and expertise will prepare you for all of life's ands. For a bank that's personal and professional, Visit cnbankpa.com. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Tuning in and listening to the news. Hearing what's happening with local views. Across the country or in my town. I tune in to find out what's going down. Hey, hey. Local radio, local radio. Keeping me informed in my community. Local radio.
Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome back to the Sayre Theater. It's Scholarship Challenge. Only 20 questions left to go here this year unless we get into some tiebreakers uh, it's a little bit of a bittersweet moment here for our production crew because we're all ready to uh, pack up scholarship challenge for the year and put it to bed and have a big lunch afterwards but we also love putting this show together and we love uh, listening to this competition between the students who do a great job so uh, thank you for tuning in if you've been a loyal uh, viewer or supporter of scholarship challenge we appreciate that very much this year uh, we're not doing team bios because earlier in the broadcast we've already done the Northeast Bradford and Grace Christian Academy bios, so we don't have those to do. We have gotten 200 installations of our My Hometown Today app, which I'm very pleased with. Thank you very much. I've also been alerted that my sister-in-law is now in the audience somewhere. Is that is that true? Coming up in a minute. Oh, she's she's not arrived yet. You're, what are you tracking her like NORAD over here? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have fun putting my sister-in-law on the spot when she gets here. Is that her? No, not at all. Okay. All right, moving on. We're back to the con uh, to the uh, contest now. The score is tied 30 to 30. We've only done 10 questions. So uh, Grace Christian Academy, Northeast Bradford are even. These are 10-point questions. Question number 11. What common grain is found in both beer and malt? At Eastman, Northeast Bradford. Barley. Barley is correct. Northeast Bradford takes the lead by one question. Question number 12. Give the basketball term starting with T for the short period of time when you go quickly. Lila Hughes, Northeast Bradford. A timeout. Repeat. Timeout. That is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Grace Christian Academy. Give the basketball term starting with T for the short period of time when you go quickly from defense to offense. No takers on that transition. The answer we were looking for with a 10-point penalty from Northeast. The score is back to being tied 30-30. Question 13. In this novel, Dominique first marries Peter Keating, and then the newspaper owner, Gail Wynand. In the end, after the Cortland housing project is blown up, Dominique marries the nonconformist architect, Howard Rourke, in what first major novel by Ayn Rand? The Fountainhead. Question 14. Give the math term for the number 5 in the equation y equals 7x plus 5. At Eastman, Northeast Bradford. A constant. That is incorrect. We'll repeat the question for Grace Christian Academy. Give the math term for the number 5 in the equation y equals 7x plus 5. No takers from Grace Christian Academy. Did you have a second answer? It is Y intercept. <laughs> Question number 15. A stevedore is a person who loads and unloads cargo ships. Spell stevedore. Time is up. Nobody rang in. Stevedore is spelled S-T-E-V-E-D-O-R-E. -E. Question 16 between Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford. Grace Christian in the lead, 30 to 20. What French chemist's namesake principle says that when a system at equilibrium undergoes a change in pressure or temperature, a new system equilibrium is created by pushing back somewhat against the change? No 
Nobody rang in. The answer we're looking for is Le Chatelier's principle. Question 17. Put aside for some 25 years and then worked on again by three members of the group after its lead singer was killed, this song was finally put together in 2023 after technology allowed the separation of John Lennon's piano part from his vocals. Give the three-word title of this most recent song by the Beatles. now and then. Question 18 between Grace Christian and Northeast Bradford. This man refused to pay a ransom for his kidnapped grandson until kidnappers cut off the boy's right ear. After building up an oil empire, he was declared the richest man in the world by Fortune magazine in 1957. What oil tycoon left much of his money to his namesake California Art Museum that features his collection? J. Paul Getty. Question 19. What title character of two five-act plays by Goethe makes a bet with the devil? Faust. Question number 20. What U.S. state includes Muskegon Lake and Lake Lansing? Kaya Frazier, Northeast Bradford. Is it Michigan? That's correct. That's 10 more questions. That's the end of round two and some bouncing around there. We're still tied at 30 each. When we come back, 10 questions left. The final round of questions, they'll be worth 20 points apiece between Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford Panthers when we come back here on the 44th Annual Scholarship Challenge Finals Championship Match. You're listening to Scholarship Challenge. We'll be right back with more from the Sayre Theater on the Radigan Media family of locally owned radio stations. Now is the time to tackle debt with the Guthrie Community Credit Union. Transfer high interest balances to a GCCU Visa credit card and save. Guthrie's Visa credit card features 0% APR for 12 months with no balance transfer or annual card fees. It could be a great way to consolidate and pay off high interest debt sooner and for less. Apply online at GuthrieFCU.org and start your journey towards financial freedom. Certain restrictions apply. Membership eligibility is required. Guthrie Community Credit Union is an equal opportunity lender. One of the most respected and appreciated businesses in the Valley community is Jeff Paul Plumbing, Heating, and Electric. Serving residential and commercial customers for over 40 years. They started small and have continued to expand to meet the needs of the Twin Tiers. Offering high quality service with a personal touch. There's one goal at Jeff Paul, your complete satisfaction. For plumbing, heating, and electrical, call Jeff Paul. Effective attention commercials so good they deserve a mention local radio hits power shows every day making businesses grow hey, hey. local radio local radio works so well makes me wanna buy local radio local radio boosting our businesses into the sky <laughs> Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event. Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge on Choice 102 is presented by FCCB and sponsored by Williams Toyota. Here are your hosts, Dave and Irene Radigan. Welcome back to the Sayre Theater. It is Scholarship Challenge. We've come a long, long way. If you're curious about how we got to where we are, um, you know, March Madness is in the air and everybody's all fired up with brackets this time of year. We had to create one of our own to keep this all straight. And it is available, if you'd like to review it, on the Scholarship Challenge Facebook page. Make sure that you uh, like and follow that page uh, to stay informed about Scholarship Challenge because it will go a little dormant here publicly. Tomorrow we'll start working on next year's scholarship challenge uh, for next year. But um, when we when we do fire it up again, um, 
you'll start getting updates from Scholarship Challenges Facebook page. So make sure you're, you're liking that, and that's where you can go and grab our 2024 bracket, which is all basically filled in at this point, except to the extent that Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford are now on stage as the finalists for our competition. We've already determined our third and fourth place uh, winners today. Uh, they are Newark Valley and Tawanda, and we'll have plaque presentations for them and our second place team as we uh, conclude the next 10 questions, as well as whoever will be our first place team with the Kwasnowski Cup. As it stands, we're tied at 30-30, Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford. I feel like we're missing something. Are we missing anything? Have we covered everything? Yeah. Everybody? I know, but we're actually going to start working on scholarship challenges. As soon as this is over, we start packing up these things, which is the first thing we do for next year. So, all right. Uh, Grace Christian Academy, are you ready? Northeast Bradford, are you ready? I've got 10 questions on this piece of paper in front of me. They're worth 20 points apiece. Here we go. Audience, are you ready? Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Question 21. Give the nerve-wracking word defined by the American Psychological Association as an intense emotional response caused by the preconscious recognition that a repressed conflict is about to emerge into consciousness. Anxiety. Anybody got any of that right now? Question 22. The 1869 Golden Spike in Utah connected the Central Pacific Railroad with what other railroad? Union Pacific Railroad. Question 23. Which classic film with Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman is set in and named for a major city in Morocco during World War II? Audience? Audience is up to 50 points today. <laughs> Question 24. In the story set The Jungle Book, what kind of animal is Ricky Ticky Taffy? Ed Eastman, Northeast Bradford. A mongoose. Correct. <laughs> Just broke the tie. 50 to 30 now. Northeast Bradford is in the lead for the win. Question 25, pencils and paper ready. Give the derivative of cosine 12x. Nobody rang in for that one. The answer, minus 12 sine 12x. Question 26 between Grace Christian and Northeast Bradford. He is portrayed by Peter O'Toole in an epic film where he fights with Arabs against Turks. He was later portrayed by Colby Johnston, Grace Christian Academy. Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence. Yeah, that's correct. Question 27 between Grace Christian and Northeast Bradford. Scores tied 50-50. What first winner of the Tony Award for Best Musical is a takeoff on Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew? Nobody rang in the answer. Kiss me, Kate. Question 28. The current armistice stopping the Korean War was signed in 1953 in what Korean village? No takers on that. Pan Moon Jam. A reminder that we can't communicate between students here up on stage. You are on your own for these next two questions. Question 29. Give the three-letter word for the heavy swinging object at the end of a pendulum wire. A 
Bob. Question number 30. The score is tied 50-50. If nobody gets this question right, we go into tiebreakers. Question 30. One common iron supplement pill contains iron 2 sulfate, which has what chemical formula? Ed Eastman, Northeast Bradford Panthers. F-E-S-O-4. That's correct. Ed Eastman just prevented a tiebreaker situation, and Northeast Bradford has won the scholarship challenge by one question. If we could get the uh, school representatives to come up towards the front of the auditorium where the wireless mic is, I know that we have representation here from Grace Christian Academy and Northeast Bradford. I know that the advisors are obviously here, Melissa Tewksbury, Chris Gorsline, Chantel Fulmer, and our uh, administrators are here as well, Scott Webster from Grace Christian, and Matt Holmes is here from Northeast Bradford Panthers. I don't know if Amy Brown is here or not, but let's uh, have a chat real quick with the uh, Grace Christian Academy Eagles starting with uh, the team advisors. Uh, let's have a little little chat here. We'll, we'll work our way up to uh, our, our admins. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit. Who's got it? Chris? Yep. Chris, tell us a little bit about the Grace Christian Academy Eagles and how this year's been going. Well, after the success that they had last year, they were really excited to come back this year, and it, much of the team is the same as it was then. So it's... Uh, we had a goal to do slightly better than we did last year where we finished fourth and, and we accomplished that. They worked hard for it this year. Uh, I'm proud of them. I hope they had fun and we're looking forward to next time. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, what year are each of you guys here in school? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. Uh, freshman. Freshman. We'll see you all again next year, won't we? That's awesome. Scott Webster, Administrator for Grace Christian Academy Eagles. What are your thoughts here witnessing today's competition? Well, we are so proud of our students. They did an awesome job, but we are very thankful to the Radigan Media Group for holding us and allowing us to compete. And just was a great day and an exciting match. And we'll take this and learn from this as we move forward. But thank you. Well, we want to thank you for presenting us with students who can answer questions that we don't even know the answers to. <laughs> As long as the administrators are not put up there working, we're in good shape. We've contemplated that in the past, so I wouldn't rule that out in the future. Just saying, you know, maybe sitting in on some of these practice sessions might not be a, a bad idea. You never know when, Thank that, you. when that could come in handy. How'd you guys feel? I uh, felt good. Yeah, you guys did real well. Mm -hmm. You did real, real well. I mean, uh, 21 teams competed in Scholarship Challenge here this year and you beat 19 of them. <laughs> so there's that. So that's very, very good. Everyone here today has done an incredible job. I want to move on over to the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Ed Eastman, Kaya Frazier, Lila Hughes, Ryan Jones. How'd you feel about today's competition? Good. Pretty darn good. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you meet your goals and expectations today? Exceeded you exceeded yeah. them? That's excellent. Uh, Melissa Tewksbury is... Uh, the advisor for the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Melissa, how do you feel your team uh, participated today? They did great. There was a lot of buzzed in questions on today, so that's always a good thing when the questions are accessible for the kids to get to. So congratulations to all the teams and all the kids throughout the weeks who have been brave enough to get up there and um, you know, get them right and get them wrong, and, and they still keep buzzing, so good for them. That's absolutely right. You've got to keep uh, being brave and buzzing in and uh, you know, competing. So I, I think they did a, a wonderful job there. And you know, it says a lot when you can keep the score tied for like 27 of 30 questions. I mean, that's impressive. And it was 30-30 each time that it was scored there for a while, too. And so something about the number 30. 30. You guys just love it. I don't know, but yeah. that's really, really cool. Okay. Is uh, Amy Brown here today she as is. well? Amy, uh, you got to see uh, your students uh, competing in an academic environment today. What do you think? 
I'm pretty proud of all of the teams that competed. I know that they've worked hard and they've been practicing a lot. And like Mrs. Tewksbury said, it takes a lot to get up there on stage and buzz in and be okay with being wrong. So congratulations. Yeah. You guys Ab make us Panther proud for sure. Absolutely. Uh, what year are you guys in school? Junior. Junior. Sophomore, junior, junior, junior. You guys going to be back again next year? Are we going to are we going to all be standing in the same place again one year from now? What do you think? Is that possible? Oh yeah. Matt Holmes is the superintendent of the Northeast Bradford Panthers. Matt, are you still here? Absolutely. First, I just want to say thank you um, again to the Radden group. Special thanks to Mr. Webster and the Grace Christian group. You guys did an excellent job. Um, I thought both teams did a um, great job at the end there with the competition, and we're just we're proud of the Northeast group. We talked about um, during our profile all of the excellent. Uh, athletics that we've done recently and it's nice to be able to show that we've got the high quality academics also and you certainly do these uh, school districts are, are uh, very close to one another here in this area all of our uh, students and teachers advisors and principals and superintendents and school boards and parents have done a wonderful job raising these kids and making them super super smart so uh, great, great job, and we really appreciate all of you for participating uh, in the program and all of those who are uh, watching uh, and have followed along. It means an awful lot. want everyone to kind of sit tight because what we're going to do is uh, a bunch of photo sessions with plaques and uh, trophy and all of that good stuff, but that doesn't make for very interesting radio. So what we're going to do is wind down the broadcast before we do our photo sessions after the fact. So we'd like you to uh, hang out for that. All right. Um, one thing we will do uh, on stage before we um, line up or end, end up our broadcast is uh, uh, have us be joined on stage by our title sponsor of Scholarship Challenge, the FCCB Scholarship Challenge. Rasmus is here to, uh, well, present a large piece of paper to our friends here at Northeast Bradford. Uh, go on over this way here. And Rasmus, uh, I would like you to uh, present this enormous check to Ed Eastman, the team captain. It is a check for $3,000 to the Northeast Bradford Panthers. It is, and you guys can stand up as well and uh, join us uh, for this. It is a photo op, but I, I, can't be, uh, I can't end the broadcast without mentioning our friends here at FCCB uh, for uh, being the lead sponsors on this. So thank you very, very much to FCCB, to our friends at Williams Toyota, our big sponsors. Just to recap here today, Northeast Bradford uh, is our winner here today. First place of scholarship challenge. Grace Christian Academy, our second place team. Tawanda in third and Newark Valley tied for fourth and fifth uh, today at scholarship challenge. All right, that is a wrap of the 44th Annual Scholarship Challenge. Congratulations to Northeast Bradford Panthers, not only winning that beautiful trophy, but for winning your school, the $3,000 prize. Congratulations to all participants, and a special thank you to our main sponsor, FCCB, and Williams Toyota of Sayre. Thanks also to Jessica Saviano, Sarah Brackle, and the entire crew at the Bradford County Regional Arts Council for allowing us to take up the main theater and the Sayre Theater stage each of the last six Saturday mornings. Uh, and uh, opening up their concession stands to us as well. Thanks also to our sponsors, Guthrie Community Credit Union, IRFCU, Jeff Paul Plumbing and Heating, Landy and Rossetti, Jeff Paul Plumbing and Heating, I say twice because I guess I can say it twice if I want to, Tawanda American Legion, CNN Bank, Cabinet Works as well, uh, and for your 2024 Scholarship Challenge sponsors, this would not have been possible without your generosity. Heartfelt thank you to our staff at Radigan Media that have spent countless hours making sure that we're able to put this event on through uh, all kinds of crazy circumstances these days. Our station manager, Sherry Iyer, who's made sure that we stayed on track and kept things organized, our entire production crew and the uh, volunteers that spent their Saturday with us helping to keep the challenge fair. Until next year, alongside my wife, Irene Radigan, I'm Dave Radigan. Thank you for listening to Scholarship Challenge year number 44. We'll catch you back here again next year for number 45. <laughs>
Scholarship Challenge. Scholarship Challenge is a production of the Radigan Media Group in cooperation with area school districts of the Twin Tiers. Engineers for today's broadcast are Dean Luchaco, Kevin Luchaco, Larry Brown, Matt Lewis, and Pat McDonald. Station manager, Sherry Iyer. Sponsorships by Irene Radigan and Richard Burgess. The creator of Scholarship Challenge is Chuck Carver. Station owners are Dave and Irene Radigan. Special thanks to the Bradford County Regional Arts Council for hosting us at the beautiful Sayre Theatre. On behalf of our students, advisors, school administrators, FCCB and Williams Toyota, additional sponsors and station staff, thank you for listening to Scholarship Challenge on the Radigan Media Group locally owned family of radio stations. WATS Air, WAVR Waverly, WEBO Owego, WTTC FM Tawanda, WTXW Tawanda, WOKN FM Southport, WLVY Elmira Heights Horseheads, and WELM Elmira.